G'day guys, if you've seen my previous video on how to install the Xiaomi EU ROM, that ROM is now, or that tutorial I now consider out of date, but if you have done it and want to update, this is exactly what I'm going to do now. So I've downloaded this twerp toolkit, I've got my phone connected up, I'm just going to make sure I have got USB debugging enabled on my phone. Are we unlocking? USB debugging, I need that. As I did disable that. So what this should actually do is able to update the ROM without the needing to reinstall it. So I've used the weekly ROM previously. So if I go into here, right now if I go to update, update won't do a thing for me. So I'm using the weekly ROM. Currently got version, uh, what have we got currently? 21A28, and I'm gonna update that to a much newer one. So now with USB debugging here enabled, I'm gonna switch my phone off <coughs> and start up fast boot mode. And then I'm gonna follow the steps on the computer here, which I've already copied across as well, the ROM that I wanted to use which is the same as here. So I've already got that on my phone. So now I'm gonna hold volume down and power. Pretty sure it's volume down and power. Yes. And now I'm gonna to go to the computer. And over at the computer, I'm just gonna to go to the twerp fast boot toolkit. And I'm gonna have a look at what needs to be done here. So we wanna reboot. Have it connected to the phone, unpack the RAR file, done that. We want to run the batch script, click enter, install ROM. So this is just doing a dirty upgrade over the top of the old weekly ROM. And I guess we're going to find out what's going to happen here. So I'm going to run the batch script as intended in a language that I cannot read. <laughs> so that is kind of humorous. If I go to, I'm trying to see what else it mentions. Run the batch script and click enter. Enter. Excellent. So this is, must be loading a temporary version of twerp onto the phone itself. And because I'm not wanting to wipe anything, I'm going to just tell it to install the ROM that I've copied onto there. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it will go from there. Now, I'm not sure if it's frozen or anything strange. Volume down, volume up. No, I'll just play the waiting game. That was a quick wait. Select storage to mount. I'll just leave it at that for now. And I'll go. Actually, I'm just going to go back. There we go. Install. There's my ROM that I've downloaded previously. So I'm just going to do the typical twerp stuff of just going there and then I'm going to go install. So if all goes well with this, I'm hoping that I won't require to reinstall anything on my phone. <clears throat> I'm going to wipe the cache after I do this and then restart the phone. Granted, this still I don't believe will make over the air updates work. And apparently after I've installed the ROM, it can take up to about 15 minutes to reinstall. So from here, I'm just going to let this go, and I'll be back in just a second. There we go, so so far that looks to be promising. I'm going to go wipe Dulve Cache, or Dulvic. Yes. And now I'm going to go reboot. Now this part here, believes it can take up to 
about 15 minutes for it to start back up. I'm assuming, hopefully, we should see the Xiaomi icon. Which it is a little bit concerning that we're not. There we go. Well, Poco, not Xiaomi. You know guys know what I mean. So now what I'm going to do from here is unplug from the computer and just play the waiting game. I'll be back in just a minute. into settings and my device now running 21.6.16 you can see over here now, I'm not sure if that's the version I actually told it to install I'll just double check that yes that is the latest version that I've installed on there so do note that when you're doing the update that if you've downloaded the stable ROM in the past Stick with using the stable ROM. Don't try and switch to the weekly. And if you're using weekly, try and stick with weekly from there. There goes my message tone. So right now I'm using the older method that I've done prior to twerp being available for this device. This would be one method to update your device as you cannot actually use the updater here because it's missing the twerp recovery side of it. And unless you either A, fully wipe your phone again it's not really an option. So I hope this helps and I hope this is able to keep your Poco F3 updated like mine. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.